Hello and welcome to Aviadev Real Estate, a brand new event for African aviation focused on diversifying revenue to build resilience. My name is John Howell, CEO and founder of Aviadev Africa, and I am joined by Marcel Langeschlag from our event partner Narco, Netherlands Airport Consultants, to take you through the project sheet. This is a first of its kind event, and it's aimed to connect African airports to investors, financed in institutions, real estate developers, and hotel operators to develop the land, maximize the revenue potential, and ultimately increase the airport's appeal to new airline carriers and the destination as well. Today, we're going to take you through the process of how to complete a project sheet. This sheet will be used to profile your projects to our investors and developers. Each airport that submits a completed project sheet will also receive an airport profile compiled by the team at NARCO, which will feature key statistics on passenger cargo traffic and route connectivity. So finally from me, should you have any issues completing the sheet, do reach out to myself or Marcel and we'd be happy to talk you through the, uh, the sheet. So, okay, Marcel, over to you to take us through the project sheet. Yeah, thanks, John. Um, nice opportunity to, uh, to show you how to fill out the sheet. I'll take you through it step by step and I'll explain what each of the sections is all about. We have filled out the sheet for an imaginary airport, which you can use as an example. So the first section gives an overview of your airport and the projects that you want to show to potential investors. You can include here a short summary of what the project is all about and where the preparations are currently at. The next section covers information on the land on which the project will take place. It includes things like how much land is available, where it's located, who owns it, and how it is structured. The third part of the sheet dives into the type of businesses and facilities that the project is targeting. Here you can describe what activities you see taking place on the project site and what type of facilities you want investors to fund. Information about the market opportunities and anticipated revenue are key, of course. Finally, the last section deals with some of the practical business-related aspects of the proposed investment project. It's important to give investors an understanding of the proposed business models and the partners that are involved in the project. This is an opportunity to highlight the involvement and support of different government agencies that can make the project really stand out. Lastly, it's useful to, for people to know what work has already gone into the preparation of the project and what materials might be available for those people that are interested to learn more. This can include things like an airport master plan that describes the facilities or specific technical and commercial studies that have already been carried out. It can also include things like land surveys or geotechnical investigations. Overall, the more information you can provide in the sheet, the better potential investors can evaluate whether the project is of interest. If some things have not been decided or figured out yet, it's okay to say so and just describe the ideas or the expectations. Again, if you need some help completing the sheet, feel free to contact either John or myself and we would gladly go through it together. Perfect. Thanks so much, Marcel. We look forward to receiving some interesting project submissions from our attending airports and using the platform in June to help you present, diversify and deliver new revenue streams and build resilience for a more robust African aviation future. Thanks for joining us.